I was just outside taking Lexi for a little potty break when the delivery guy just brought this in. A little bit late, but uh, glad that it's here. And I'm excited to have you guys see what's inside the case. Welcome back to the journey, everybody. And if you're new, we are collecting the entire Star Wars Kenner line, starting from 1977 and ending at 1985. And yeah, we started from scratch. And you have quite a few episodes to binge on. So if you wanna do that and then come back here, please do. And like you just saw, we just got a new display case delivered to our door. And if you've been watching my episodes, you know that that case right in back of me, we had to get it delivered from Collector Displays over in the UK. And that case came disassembled, well, because one, I live in the US and if that thing came fully assembled, I would risk it getting damaged in transit. And then number two, when it comes in a box like that, it's less bulky and I save on shipping costs. So just like my past episode, episode 17, today we're gonna unbox it, we're gonna build it, we're gonna review it, and finally and hopefully, we're gonna place all of my creatures inside there. So let's go. All right, here we go again. So here's some tools that you're gonna need for this. Hammer, Phillips head screwdriver, cooking shears, or you can use an X-Acto knife, flathead screwdriver, and we have an Allen wrench set and a tape measure. All right, so, <laughs> so let's get started. So you would think after doing this once that I'd be a master at this, but it's not like riding a bicycle. I hope I'm not cutting into anything important like the case. So we'll put this to the side. Oh, look what we just uncovered. Okay, so it says, don't need this, we'll be covered. We'll find out what that means. So I'm guessing that's where the, that's where the shelf goes. There you go. That looks great. Let's put this to the side and see what else is in there. One of the shelves. This is gonna be a mess again. It's packed up really nice. Another one of the shelves. It all smells like freshly cut wood. Top right. I don't know what this is yet, we're gonna find out, but it says top left, front, up. We'll find out what that is. Let's put this to the side. It's a lot of cardboard in here. I guess to protect it all. It's like a jigsaw of cardboard. I just have to make sure none of this cardboard I actually need. Okay, this looks like the last piece, the shelf front. And I'm the first person to get this delivered to, so we're the guinea pig this time, which is a little bit intimidating, a little bit scary, but we're gonna do it. Let the Padawan do it first. Okay, just have to make sure that there's nothing in here that I need. <laughs> Lexi's over there because she doesn't want to be any part of this. I don't blame her. So here's the guide bar that the front shield goes on. Okay, that's it, there's nothing else in here. If that's not the definition of foreshadowing, I don't know what is. Hi, remember me? I'm the narrator from the Dukes of Hazard, who used to pause the video and talk every time something bad was about to happen. And you'll find out what goes wrong in a little while. Okay, I'm just gathering up all the cardboard together to recycle. All right, so this is the box with all the accessories inside, and uh, it looks like uh, they were playing soccer with my box, so I'm hoping that there's nothing wrong inside here. There are LED lights inside here. At least it came with a lot of padding, which is good. As much as this box looks like somebody played a soccer match with it, or football match across the pond, more padding, which is good. All right, the LED lights, they look safe. More padding. More padding. <laughs> Instruction guide, you're gonna need this. Here's the magnetic strips for the front shield case. So we'll put all this stuff to the side for right now because we have to build this right here. God, you would think that I'm used to doing this because I built the last one, but honestly, it feels like I'm starting from complete scratch. Shelf front, 
All right, I have no idea what this is for, but we'll find out. So right here, this is gonna be the bottom, and this is gonna be our top. And why is this gonna be the top? Because this has two holes where the metal dowels are gonna go. And this is where this is gonna fit right there along these holes, because this is where the front shield is gonna go. So it lines up here, hangs along these holes, and that's where the front shield's gonna go. All right, so that's the top. So what we have to do is put the two metal dowels on top of these two things right here. At least everything's organized, which is nice. I wish everything in life was this organized. This is a metal dowel right here. And the one thing with this is that you're gonna need plenty of light. So if you're working in like a dimly lit area, that ain't gonna work. You need to see what you're doing, especially when you start putting on the LED lights and make sure you're working on a flat surface like this. All right, so there is our top. Let's just start building the sides. Yeah, so what was your first display case? Like when you started thinking about collecting, what display case did you guys think about doing? All right, so there is the backboard right there. So that's how that's gonna fit. Now we need the black screws. So there's three holes along this right here. And there's also three holes along the top. And those are just gonna line up and we're gonna screw these right in. We're gonna screw these right in and it's gonna line up exactly right here. And that's how it's gonna bind the top to the backboard. Now, could you imagine if I was doing this in a live stream? Forget about it. That would be nerve wracking. That would be completely entertaining for you, not for me. So you just wanna make sure that you go at a nice pace because you don't want to strip these things. I was gonna buy an electric screwdriver, a power screwdriver, but you get like an extra workout doing this. <laughs> and plus, it's only a handful of screws. At least the holes are pre-drilled, which is good. It does make it a lot easier when you're watching somebody else do it for the first time. So hopefully, if you get this case, you can just watch this and I'll be your guinea pig. I'll be your host, building with the Padawan. Okay, we have put in one, two. Now we're just gonna put in the last screw, and this is for the top panel. I don't know if you guys watched the episode where I went to Disneyland and I couldn't get into Galaxy's Edge, and ever since then, I've been thinking about just going to Disneyland just to ride Galaxy's Edge. You don't know if you're gonna ride it. You don't know if you're gonna go and be able to ride it because you have to get on that app and you have to get a place in line. So it's really not worth it just to go for that ride. Cause when I used to have the annual pass, you can just go and ride one ride and go home. Not anymore. And if you guys know if they're gonna bring back that pass, let me know. It's probably gonna cost a bajillion dollars. All right, so we got the top shelf on. Let's put the bottom shelf on. All right, so both of these shelves are the same. You're gonna notice that there's two holes in the bottom there. You don't need it. So it's just, you can choose whatever, which one you want to be the top because they're both the same, basically. The two holes are gonna go on the bottom though, so, so you don't see them. With the two holes showing, it's not very good, so make sure that you flip it around, and these holes right here are on the bottom, so you don't see them. We're gonna screw the three black screws onto the bottom. So if there was one thing that wasn't a figure, wasn't a playset or a vehicle, other than the Star Wars regular line, I think the, the thing I would really love to get above and beyond what was included in the Kenner line, I would love to get a prop lightsaber. A Kenobi saber, a Darth Vader saber, and then Luke's Return of the Jedi saber. I'd like to get those three first. And then, I want to do an Ahsoka focus. I would love to get Ahsoka's sabers. That, to me, I kind of want to get first, just because I'm a huge Ahsoka fan. And if I was to get two plaques where I can get Rosario Dawson's autograph and Ashley Eckstein's autograph, not on the sabers, but right next to them, that would be money. <laughs> no, no joke, that would honestly be money. <laughs> Whatever you think completes your collection. So prop sabers, I think, is one thing I would get beyond the vintage Kenner line. All right, now this thing's starting to really take shape. We're honestly gonna be done in about 30 minutes. Not in this video, but in real time, I'm probably gonna be done in about 30 minutes. If this was real time, if I did this live, I would be totally nervous right now. So if I do get another case, I'll do it live. 
All right, you heard it here first. I'll do it live. Do it live. I can. I'll write it, and we'll do it live. We're doing it live. So now we're gonna put on the sides. So for this one, you just want to make sure that these holes line up. This should be the bottom, and this should be right in the middle because you have to connect the shelf right here. And it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what side you put it on. It's it's the same. It just lines up, and it's the same thing. We're gonna put the screws on the three holes on the sides. Anytime I would get furniture and I had to build it myself, so it's a bit of a process. So that's why when I see a bunch of collectors with the Detolf cases or the Ikea cases, if you're out there, you know, you have that thousand mile collector stare from putting those together all day, especially if you get three or four or five of those Detolfs. Don't get me wrong, those things look beautiful, but man, every time I see a collecting video and I see those Detolfs, I'm like, I know what you went through. It's starting to look really good. And I've been going out to flea markets a lot lately and garage sales and estate sales. And I'll show you those videos in an upcoming episode. I went to a garage sale and I saw a guy that was running the garage sale. He had a Star Wars shirt on. So I pulled right over because you know, somebody's wearing a Star Wars shirt. They might have Star Wars stuff, nothing. I almost asked him if I could just buy his Star Wars shirt that he was wearing. I must be shopping in the wrong neighborhoods. All right, so let's put these two screws up here and connect this board permanently. I don't know if you guys can hear that outside, but there's a lot of construction going on. I should just call them in here and say, hey dudes, help me out. If you need an arm workout, this will give it to you. And I was talking to somebody the other day and they asked me, what is your favorite piece of music from Star Wars? And I might do an episode about the Star Wars music, but I think, but I think at least in the top five. <laughs> I think at least in the top five has to be Duel of the Fates and the Imperial March. I'm an empire guy, I guess. But I think one of the most beautiful themes is Leia's theme and Yoda's theme. That's for sure. We're almost done. I think the hardest part, honestly, is going to be the LED strips. So I'm doing the same thing. I'm putting in the black screws onto the last panel. I always think about what I'm gonna buy and where am I gonna put it in my house? Cause it's one thing to collect things, but if you're not thinking about where you're gonna put it, I think that's just another aspect of collecting. So all the screws are in. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put in the shelf. We're gonna take off the protective layer. So that way we can get all of the uh, plastic that's protecting the back off. So let's go ahead and do that. Wow. It looks really good when you take the plastic cover off because it looks super shiny. You can see the colors. That looks great. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put on the shelf front. Everything came really nicely organized. All right, we're on the last screw, I think. <laughs> and it didn't take that long. I've only been doing this in real time for maybe 15 minutes, maybe 15 minutes. This thing's gonna look really good once all the LEDs are in there. And check this out, we just discovered this. We actually got it signed by Drew. Joey C, first production unit, Drew. <laughs> That's super rad. So hey, there's been a lot of firsts on this show and to be the first one to have this case, that's awesome. <laughs> I'll take it. All right, so here's the cover that goes on to this case and this is where it starts looking beautiful. That's gonna look super cool. All right, so let's take this protective film off. Oh yeah. It has that fresh out of the Minton card smell, that, that TIE Fighter smell. God, if I went to the car wash and they offered me fresh out of the MOC TIE Fighter, Somebody please make that, sell it on Etsy. I'll be your first customer. Wow, that looks beautiful. I love this. We still have to put the magnetic stripping around here so that this will fit on their flush, but I just wanted to do this first because I just love the way that this looks. So this plate will go on here. So let's screw that on. So this is where it hangs onto the metal dowel. So it goes exactly like this. So that's where it's gonna hang. So we're gonna attach this bar to this front. All right, so this is where you do need your Allen wrench because the little screws, the little bolts that you're gonna need attach here and you just need an Allen wrench. 
So there's a little backing bolt that goes on there that just keeps it in place. It's really easy to put together. It's not hard at all. Famous last words from a Padawan. Hi, remember me? I'm the narrator from the Dukes of Hazard, who used to pause the video and talk every time something bad was about to happen. And you'll find out what goes wrong in a little while. It's not difficult at all to put this thing together. At least for me. I'll show you in a close up what I'm doing right now. So here's the bolt that goes onto the faceplate, and it goes right on to the backing bar. So that bar is gonna rest along those metal dowels right there, and that's how the case slips on. So here we go. Here's how it's gonna look-ish. I have it on a table right now, so you can't get the full effect. But once it's hanging and we put this on, it's gonna look pretty cool. All right, so what we're gonna do next is we are gonna put the magnetic strips all along the sides right here. So this is what this bag is for. And they come with the adhesive on the back. So all you gotta do is find out which strip goes on which side, peel the adhesive off, and this is the part right here where you just wanna go slow because you wanna line this up exactly on the edge. So now we're gonna do the sides. These are already pre-measured and pre-cut. Everything comes as a kit and everything is super well organized. So after we put these magnetic strips on, what we're gonna do is we're gonna fasten them down with these little nails that come with the kit. So about every five inches, you're gonna place a fastener, a little nail, and they come inside the baggie. We'll just start on the corners right here. So you've put a nail on the edge, you put a nail in the middle. Now we're gonna split the difference and put it right in the center. All right, so next is the LEDs. All right, so here's the sheet on how to do the LEDs. We're gonna start down there at that corner and we're gonna snake it. We're gonna snake it all the way through. So it's just gonna be a big snake until it starts all the way at the beginning. The first thing when you get LEDs, I would always suggest just plugging them in and seeing if they work first. There you go, it works. So we're gonna put these bad boys on. This is the part that's the most nerve wracking. Now remember when I said I was gonna tell you what went wrong? Well, here's that part. Now the Padawan went ahead and laid down all the LED tape, but he was supposed to insert the wall art first. Then he was supposed to lay down the LED tape. So he had to take the LED tape off and now he has to place on the side wall panels. But hey, there's no shame in being a Padawan. All right, so now what we have to do is just put these panels onto the sides. And all you do is you take the adhesive off, you find the right corner, and that's where it goes. So this is where it gets real, guys. This is permanent. All right, just put it in there, boom. Lines up, perfect. Just pat it down, make sure it's nice and stuck on. All right, same thing with this guy. We're gonna take the adhesive off for realsies. All right, beautiful. Now we're gonna do the final two sides. That looks great. All right, that's looking good. Let's put the LED strip on. All right, you just wanna take your time doing this. So you're just gonna snake it all the way around. You do wanna take your time on this part. So once you're done putting it down, just go back over it and pat everything down. Make sure everything is super secure. All right, let's put that cover on. Awesome. So now the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna configure it in our new studio. Put those figures in and then boom, turn on that light and we're done. And this is my childhood do back, so we're gonna put this in the case temporarily until I can get my permanent do back. All right, so now there's just one more thing left to do. Guys and gals, I love the way that my new display looks. I love the compact design, and the figures that are inside are basically protected from a dust-free and a UV shield. And paired next to my other figure case, it really elevates that collection. So thanks to Drew and all the folks over at Collector Displays, they are always a pleasure to do business with. So if you wanna get in touch with Collector Displays, 
There's a link down there in the description, as well as other items that you might need in your collecting journey. And when you do click and buy from those links, it does support the channel, so thank you for that. And if you entered into the hashtag 1000 giveaway that happened last episode, I'll be doing a live stream Saturday, November 20th, at 1 p.m. Pacific time. And I'll be giving 10 prizes away, as well as one bonus prize that I haven't mentioned, so you're gonna wanna tune in for the live stream to find out what that is. And if you can't make the live stream, you can always catch it on a rerun just to see if you won one of the 11 prizes. So thanks a lot for joining me on the episode as I built my case. It wasn't the most perfect build, but hey, if you get a case, you can watch this video and don't do the mistakes that I did. And yes, in the future, I'm gonna build my next case on a live stream and there will be more cases. And if you found this video interesting, please hit that like button and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can follow the journey. And as always, my friends, thank you and I'll see you next time. If you're new to the channel, check out the welcome video or just check out the next episode. And please subscribe if you want to follow the journey. And remember, there is no shame in being a Padawan.